Luis Moreno Ocampo is Argentine, the bearded and somewhat cocky 58-year-old prosecutor of the ICC is the man many a Kenyan politician loves to hate. Is he married? Yes, he is. His wife and four children live in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and not in the Hague City in Holland, where the prosecutor works on a tight schedule day and night. So I travel there each month. I take long flights to see be with my family for a few days each month to, to, to see my kids and my wife. But really my work is 90% of my life now. So because I received this honor to be the prosecutor and this idea was so difficult to establish. The prosecutor rarely gets time off. He says the only time he takes a break is when he is on a flight to his next business from continent to continent. Since I was about to have no more hobbies, I had nothing. I, I sold my law firm. I resigned to Harvard. I gave up on all the activities I had before and I just devoted myself to this. Ocampo's demeanor is that of a serious, tough looking person. <laughs> But his laughter sometimes betrays that demeanor. And when he is not ready to be interviewed, you can't pin him down. No, no. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it will be 30. 630. This building in the Hague City in Holland has become synonymous with Moreno Ocampo to the extent that many Kenyans think he is everything at the ICC. No. He is only the officer in charge of investigating and presenting charges against accused persons. He does what Kenya's director of public prosecutions does. May I ask the court officer to call the cases? The ICC has a president and the president would be the equivalent of Kenya's chief justice. The other key department at the ICC that is independent from the office of the prosecutor is the registry, which deals with administrative matters. Ocampo's word is not final when it comes to cases, but the work of judges who make rulings depending on the strength of the evidence given. The Argentine lawyer has been the prosecutor of the ICC since 16th June 2003. He was endorsed unanimously by member states as the first prosecutor of the ICC for a nine-year term which ends in 2012. Ocampo previously worked as a prosecutor in Argentina, famously combating corruption and prosecuting human rights abuses by senior military officials. He has also defended controversial figures like footballer Diego Maradona. Ocampo is also an actor, and that is noticeable from the way he behaves before cameras and his love for the limelight. Yes. In the same level, I hope. I keep, keep you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here, this is uh, the king's side. Okay. <laughs> During the 1990s, he starred in a reality television program in Argentina called Forum, in which he arbitrated private disputes. It was an education program on law and conflict resolution. And what's great for me, 10% of the population say they learn to solve conflict with this show. So for me, it was a way to use TV to educate people in law, and I love it. Ocampo understands television production. When the filming gadgets fail, he knows exactly what to do, even if it means helping one get alternative cameras. Okay, are you ready, guys? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes, the microphone is good. Now. Very good. It's a great progress. We see a problem, <laughs> solving some problem, problems are solved. Go. Uh, how do you expect to handle this? It's quite massive. I know it's complicated, but compared with my normal cases, it's easier, okay? I'm going, in Kenya, you have a state working, we have free media, we have people discussing issues. In Congo, in the areas of Turi or Kibbutz, there was no state controlling the situation, very difficult to talk about these issues. In Darfur, even the state was attacking the citizens. So, compared with my other cases, this is a simple case. Ocampo has been accused of doing showbiz contrary to the way lawyers and prosecutors should conduct themselves. I have no comment. No comment on that. No, I don't care. Ocampo likes maintaining good rapport with journalists. During his first visit to Kenya in November 2009, he took time off to visit the Nairobi Animal Orphanage 
and he symbolically promised to work on the Kenyan cases with the speed of a cheetah. Ocampo has also had his trouble with the law. While serving as the prosecutor of the ICC, he faced internal accusations of sexual misconduct. He was accused of sexually abusing a South African female journalist in March 2005, accusations that had been brought forward by a worker in the prosecutor's office, but he was cleared of the accusations. Ocampo's most high-profile case is that against Sudanese President Omar el-Bashir, who has been indicted to face charges of crimes against humanity in connection with killings in Darfur region. However, he is still at large with the African Union defending him. Remember Richard Nixon in the U.S.? The process to investigate him was complicated. Even he was re-elected after the crimes. So, but then he faced justice. And that's something we happened to President Bashir. You can read their voices now in the, in the, in the, inside the Sudan government that they are saying that. They are saying, how we can have a president who cannot fly? Because that the, the fact that a president can be four hours in Kenya it's not a big deal. How can be a president be proud that he was, a f was free for four hours in Kenya? Come on, this is not the president. It's a fugitive. These posters show just how Ocampo is disliked by the supporters of President el-Bashir, and he is facing a similar situation with the supporters of the six Kenyan suspects he accuses of being the brains behind the violence that rocked the country in the aftermath of a bitterly contested presidential election in 2007. Observers say his legacy depends to a large extent on the outcome of the Sudanese and Kenyan cases. I love Kenya. I love Kenya. I love Kenyans. I think Kenyans are fighting for the future. He dominated the headlines in 2010 and he is expected to remain firmly in the headlines in 2011. We will be following the story for you. Alex Chamwada for Newsmakers.